Yo, what's good? What's good? The two Protect fan. What's good? It's your boy Tom, man. Back with another one again. Let's get it. Protect Sports back at it again like a mother. That's Tony Two Wild. What's say? Mother crack at it. Let's get it, baby. Um, I'm going to review the NFC Championship game. This is not going to take long. This was an ass with epic proportions. They did that today, ass boy. A warp day earth. Green Bay went and then got destroyed. Destroyed. Like, that was terrible. So I'm going to um give pros and cons for both teams. It's a lot of cons for the Green Bay Packers in this one. Um, so I'm going to start with the winners. Winners get the spoils. Um, pros. Raheem Moster. Where did that come from? 29 carries for 220 yards and four touchdowns? Oh, my gracious. He did that today, ass. <laughs> Tevin Coleman got hurt early in the game. I'm thinking, like, okay. All right. I mean, Raheem's going to probably carry the load. I'm saying they still haven't seen Jared McKinnon yet in two years. Um, paying him all his money. Not playing him. Not playing. Um... I think Matt Breida, Matt Breida is on IR, I believe. I think he's injured. So it was right. Is a Raheem Mostert show or bust? And he went out there and destroyed their ass. <laughs> like he was at one point, he was averaging ten point three yards a carry. That's ridiculous. If you're the Green Bay Packers, you should be ashamed of yourself. You cannot allow these boys to score thirty seven points, and Jimmy Garoppolo don't throw for a hundred yards. He didn't throw 100 yards passing, and he scored 37 points. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. The San Francisco 49ers had almost 300 yards rushing, and you had 58. That's a problem. Huge problem. Preston Smith, Jadarius Smith, um, I can't think, Kenny Clark, and Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. All of y'all. Blake Martinez, too. Y'all should all be ashamed of yourselves. That was pitiful. That was trash. You put trash on that field today. Or yesterday. Utter garbage. That was trash. Very disappointing, that performance I think you put on yesterday. This is the NFC Championship game. And you wanted to let a damn egg. Trash. Trash. Throw the whole defense away. They had a, You didn't make them one dimensional at all. They literally said, we're going to run Raheem Mostert to you stop me. And you didn't stop them for damn. Y'all might have had a couple of negative runs toward the end of the game. Who gives a crap about that? The game's out of balance at that point. The game is over. It was over at halftime. You were down 27 nothing. Nothing. Don't know. You didn't get a field goal. You, I don't think you got in San Francisco territory in the first half. Y'all got whooped. But I'm, 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 I'm right. Let's go to the pros and cons of the game. <laughs> so Raheem Mostert destroyed him. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo didn't have to do a lot. As you saw, I think he only threw like 78 yards, 80 yards, something like that. Um, Kittle still Kittle. Blocking in the run game. Setting the edge. Putting Blake Martinez on his ass. Precious Smith couldn't do nothing with him. George Kittle was destroying him. <laughs> Kittle was destroying him. Destroying him in the run game was his blocking. The, the, the offensive line, dominant. McGlinchey and Staley and them boys, dominant. Dominant. Destroying him. Set a new line of scrimmage. Remember, they set a new stadium of scrimmage. Screw, screw line. The whole stadium was their line of scrimmage. The whole game. They went all smoke. And y'all ain't do nothing with them at all. Y'all could have set no edges. The Green Bay Packers didn't do nothing to stop the run. So that's the number one pro. Defensively, they were destroying Aaron Rodgers. It was hitting him a ton. Aaron was scared in that pocket. He didn't want no smoke. And that's exactly what I said in my, in my preview. They got whooped because, one, they couldn't stop the run. And number two... Aaron Rodgers was getting his ass handed to. 
They was getting to Aaron. They was smacking Aaron. They was hitting him. They was sacking him. They was doing everything. They was. They made him flustered in the pocket. So shout out to the 49ers. That's the that's the two pros I got. For, I got no cons in this game. We don't care about Devontae Adams getting a hundred something y'all. They got whooped. Who cares? Let's get to the Packers. I got one con. Devontae Adams is a monster. He's a fucking monster. That man there, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Boy, the monster, bro. No cap. Only con, only pro I got for y'all. Cons, what was that performance? Like I said, like, bro, y'all couldn't stop the run. Couldn't stop the run for damn. They ran the ball so much, bro. They scored all their touchdowns running the football in a passing league. This is a passing league. Jimmy Garoppolo just won a NFC Championship game throwing for 78 yards. Didn't throw a touchdown pass. Didn't throw a pick. Given. Good job on that. Didn't throw a pick. But didn't throw a single touchdown pass. And you mean to tell me, bro, they won throwing for 78 yards? Y'all bum ass out of here. Bum ass fools. I know this team trash too, all right? We're bring 13, though. Don't comment down below that bull crap, okay? I don't want to hear. It. I'm just saying facts. That was a piss poor performance yesterday for the Green Bay Packers. Um. So, what I take from this game, 49ers, shout out to you guys. Congratulations for reaching the Super Bowl. You guys looked so good early in the season. You guys deserve it. You guys will be best in the NFC all season long. Except that one week I, when y'all lost to Seahawks. The other two losses, I mean, whatever. Um, but I, I, I knew the only team was going to beat San Francisco was Seattle. And when Seattle got sent home, I, I knew it was going to be a blowout. So that is what it is. Um, as for the Packers, uh, great season for them as well. They went 13-3. But um, shout out to Louis T for this. He said he's been saying all year the, the the Packers are fraudulent. They are. They were fraudulent. They got exposed. They're fraudulent. Um, Aaron Rodgers ain't the same. You can tell you not the same. He ain't the same quarterback. He's not that bad man he always was. He ain't that guy no more. He's still damn good though. Don't get it twisted. He's still a top ten quarterback. Just not a top five. Um, you can see the decline in this play. He's not the same guy. He's not. It's not. Um, it's not a big decline in play, but it's a slight one. And you can tell. Um, he's missing guys. He's, he's, yeah, he's not the same guy. So, um, I want to see what they can do with the second year of Matt LaFleur's system as uh as they acquire more players. I do like their all I do like them on offense. Defense, um, they can get to the quarterback, but they have to they have, they gotta get their run. They gotta get better stopping the run. Cause I see even that even that Redskins game, they they the Redskins were running football. And the offensive line, the Redskins ain't that damn great. So um I seen in other games like against um Minnesota, they can run they they they're able to run the ball a little bit. I think the first matchup. Second one, no. The second one they only got seven first downs the whole damn game. But the first matchup to run the ball a little bit. Um not a lot, but they had enough success. Uh a couple of teams were able to run the ball on them throughout the season a little bit. Um, definitely San Fran when they played them the first time. So, um, yeah, uh, it's got to get better as your run defense, your run, your gap disciplines. Um, that's something that, uh, Mike Patton is going to be really, 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 really keen on this off season, because if you can keep getting exposed, you can't stop the run. Teams will keep running the ball down your bro. So that would do it, man. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, view, rate, comment, subscribe. If you're new, also turn on post notifications. Okay, post sports video. I'm um, going to put our first out the way. Protect fan, we stay strong like always. If you're not the most athletic or talented, as long as you're the most family sound, most professional you can be, and the most um, technical you can be, you can always overcome the lack of talent and the lack of athleticism in anything you do. Thank you guys for watching, man. Protect fan, appreciate you guys. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for commenting. Thank you guys for everything, man. Um, I thank God for you guys. I hope you have a blessed day. And um, I'm out, bro. Take it easy. More reviews coming up. More content coming up. I'm out of here. Game.